Fans of retro gaming are excited for Hyperkin's upcoming Retro 5 console, which supports no fewer than 10 different gaming formats from the past. There's Famicom, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Mega Drive, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Super Famicom, the list goes on. It's due to come out quarter one of 2014, which might mean April, but it seems that with this extra time for development, users will actually benefit. With the new redesign, Hyperkin's added a little bit of extra plastic in the back that will allow the controller to rest when it's not in use, or allow users to put in a Sega Master System adapter, something that was requested by a lot of fans of Hyperkin. When talking to the Hyperkin rep, it turns out that the Android operating system inside the Retron 5 won't be completely locked down. Already there are a lot of options for users, such as choosing different regions in Genesis and Mega Drive games, applying graphical filters, saving states in the middle of a game, among other things, but if users really want to, they can get inside a debugging menu and install custom operating systems for the Retron 5. With custom ROMs, users will be able to do all sorts of things such as apply patches to games, including translations for games that were never released in America. Of course, this might also mean support for ROMs, something Hyperkin is not willing to support out of the box, but they admit with the Android operating system, which isn't protected very well, users will be able to do so if they wish. It's only a few more months before the Retron 5 comes out, and classic gamers everywhere should get their hands on this console for only 100 bucks. While we haven't had the chance to thoroughly test it yet, it already looks like one of the most interesting pieces of hardware coming out in 2014 for fans of classic gaming. Stay tuned to GameSpot for more CES coverage. I'm Peter Brown. Thanks for watching.